Hello there. One final brief reflection on the final chapter of the book of Proverbs from the Old Testament, Book of Wisdom. Uh, we've been reading through this book throughout the whole of the month of November. Well done. We've made it to the end, chapter 31 tonight. I chose this book because it's all about wisdom. And I chose it because 30 years ago this November, I became accredited and welcomed as a local preacher in the Methodist Church after my local preacher's studies. So 1992, November I became a preacher. I've been preaching for 30 years this year, which is quite unbelievable to me. Um, and so I've been revisiting wisdom, what it means to have wisdom for life. And Proverbs is a book all about wisdom, collection of sayings. Um, I think there'll be something to reflect upon over the next few days, having read through the whole book. What's it all about? It is about trusting the Lord with all our heart. It is about an awesome fear, respect, reverence for God and for the ways of wisdom. Um, it's about leaning towards the poor and the oppressed and the neediest in our world, in our society. It's about craving wisdom uh, more than diamonds, gold, jewels, etc. Um, chapter 31 concludes with a few brief sayings from King Lemuel. We were introduced to him in chapter 30. Inspiring words taught by his mother. Just a reminder that we do receive a lot of wisdom from our elders, um, from parents, from grandparents, from wise elders, wise seniors. Listen, 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 it says in verse three. Listen, my child, you are the answer to my prayers. Um, advice not to overindulge in wine or beer. Don't drink too much and forget what you're doing. Um, verses eight and nine are very, very uh, well worth underlining. Um, and I think this is a theme throughout the book. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all facing destitution. That's a big challenge for us in this day and time. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needy. Verse 9. This is how to live a wise life. To speak up and speak out for those who cannot for themselves and for the poorest and the neediest. And then to round off this book, to round off the chapter, there's a clever poem, which is an acrostic. The final verses of this book are line by line, introducing all the letters of the Hebrew alphabet. So each verse begins with a different letter of the alphabet. And it's a collection of qualities of a valiant or a noble woman or a wife, a worthy wife, a noble or valiant woman. This is in contrast to quite a number of references in the book of Proverbs to a nagging wife or an adulterous woman. So this is a virtuous, noble, even valiant woman. Some have even suggested that this is wisdom herself. <clears throat> Um, and it, it, it's a beautiful poem about the characteristics of wise women, wise people. And so I want to round off this for what has been for me a very helpful, um, impactful, moving journey through the book of Proverbs, remembering 30 years of preaching. So I've written my own acrostic poem here. It is A to Z, that's probably back to front for you. Um, A to Z, there are more letters in our English alphabet than there are in the Hebrew alphabet, so it's a little bit longer. And I've used quite a lot of the themes that are in Proverbs 31. Uh, but instead of this being about a valiant, noble, um, virtuous wife per se, um, I've said that this is about my friend wisdom or my wise friend. Who are your wise friends? Who do you turn to for wisdom and what are their characteristics? 
or wisdom herself, my friend, wisdom, to look at wisdom and the way of wise living as a friend. So I'm going to close with this and I want to thank you for journeying with me. Uh, maybe if you want something to do over the next 24 hours, you might write A to Z and see if you could do a little acrostic <coughs> about your friend wisdom or your wise friend. God has given me some beautiful friends, some wonderful friends. Uh, I'm married to one of my best friends, my best friend of all. Um, and I have lots of friends who I can turn to for wisdom and for guidance. So this is about a bit about all of them. My friend wisdom, my wise friend. Uh, many of you listening can count yourselves in, in that category, wise friend. So I'll try to indicate when I've moved on to each letter and I'll try not to take too long over it. My friend wisdom or my wise friend. A, a true gem of a friend, a true gem of a find more precious than rubies. B, best at filling me with confidence. C, carefully providing all I'll ever need. D, delivering goodness daily. E, every day protecting me from harm. F, finally, finally, not finally, finally weaving and creating fullness of life in me. G, granting me sustenance. H, heartily nourishing me. I, intervening for my good, my well-being, day and night. J, justly treating myself and my family and others fairly and well. K, knowing how best to serve and invest in my life. L, lovingly providing. M, making the most of every opportunity. N, noticing the plight of the neediest and the poorest. And O, orchestrating a response which extends grace to the neediest and the poorest. P, places a blanket of warmth and care around me. Q, quilting and blanketing me so that I may rest well at night. R. Resourceful with God-given talents. S. Strong and resilient, especially under pressure. T. Tempering every situation with humour and joy. U. Uttering deep words of wisdom. V. Voicing truth and faith-filled guidance. W, wonderfully on top of all scenarios. X, excellently blessed and praiseworthy. Y, yes, 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 my wise, wise friend. Z, zealously honour your wisest friends. Praise and glory belong rightly there. Good night. God bless you, my friend Wisdom, my wise friend. Thank you for sharing the journey. Tomorrow is the 1st of December. Advent calendars, Advent candles and a new Advent journey with me from tomorrow. There is room. We're going to think about rooms, rooms in our homes and making room in our lives, for God, for others, for love, for wisdom. <sighs> A to Z, my wisest friend, my friend wisdom. Good night, God bless you. <laughs>